Uh, so number ones are the same game as well, right? Yes, Zombie uh, U. Zombie U. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to go first? No, go ahead. All right. Um, I like the look of it pretty much straight away when they first started showing it properly. Um, the first, when they very first started showing the trailer, I think, the, uh, the, the teaser trailer, I just thought this was going to be more launch launch kind of throwaway trash just getting out there and then as i started seeing the gameplay and things like that i was like oh no this looks really interesting and it and it is playing it like um it's got some really low review scores in some places and i find that baffling sometimes you can play a game and some people don't like it some people love it and you can see why you know you can see why i might like it but you totally understand why others don't but this is just i can't understand how anybody could not be completely enraptured by something this tense yeah same here. people said it looks bad i think it looks fucking awesome it does look good yeah i think it looks great i mean yeah there might not be the same amount of like detail or, or stuff going on the screen in some games but it like if you just look at it it look yeah the lighting the, the the quality of the texture the the atmosphere amazing and fucking terrifying i mean i was playing it on my own in the dark and it, it's so tense unbelievably tense scary Every, almost every zombie encounter I had, I was fully tense. My body is fully tense. Just wanted the fucking thing to die. Um, the fact that they've taken the essence of, of Dark Souls in many ways, with the way that your character dies, and you restart with another character and have to go and find them in the world and get your loot back, and uh, you know it's kind of like permanent death for that character, and you can be killed very quickly. It's not as hard as Dark Souls at all. But it, it, it carries an element of that to it, a kind of real, genuinely hardcore, almost post-hardcore, for want of a less annoying and wanky phrase that, that seems to be coming along these days. Um, there's that kind of element to it as well. But it's just just a really fucking cool zombie game. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun, it, I mean, my reaction to it was really funny because the, the, it's hard to describe what I love so much about it because there's, it's almost like there's a veil over the systems so you have to investigate a little bit or, or i did there's things where i was like am i supposed to do that oh right okay and so i had to discover everything for myself in ways that i'm not used to doing in that yeah it, yeah definitely um and just yeah i i, I love it, it i mean it is phenomenal that ubisoft have taken one of the it, one of the fundamental problems that a lot of people have had with this machine which is you can't look at both screens at the same time and you milked it for all of the tension yeah. and the, the suspense that they can possibly get out of it. There's been so many... I mean, I'm not somebody... I don't jump at a lot of stuff. I don't mm-hmm. get scared. But I shouted, son of a bitch, so loud at two o'clock this morning. I must have woken somebody up. Have you got to Buckingham Palace? Yes. The, the fact that they... This is another thing. It must be so tempting if you're making a game like this to just... Oh, we'll throw in a scare there. We'll throw in a scare. There. I mean, I think every even the great horror games do it. Mm. Where you're like, oh, cheap scare, cheap scare. The first time, which was about four hours in, when I really properly son of a bitch, I shouted, honest to God. I, did you say you were back in the palace? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, I, I, you probably seen the bit, but I won't say anything about it because I don't want to spoil it. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just aside from all that stuff, the systems work. It's it's just it, it's it, it grips it properly grips mm-hmm. every time I've played it, regardless of how much time I've had to play it, I've played it until the battery light on my Wii U gamepad was blipping at me to recharge it, because it's it I like the way that it's linear but kind of not linear. Mm-hmm. There are linear paths through it and there are bits where it opens out, but it's it's kind of a, a sort of a mixture of the two. And like a great horror film, it manages those moments, those scares, those sort of set pieces very cleverly. And yeah, it's just, it's a, I think very highly of it, very highly indeed. And I didn't, I knew I was going to like it, but it's just, it's impressive. It's almost as if Ubisoft have had this console hardware for a lot longer than they have, because it feels yeah. like a game that's come around in the second wave of. Uh, Definitely does. Yeah, it feels really confident and accomplished. And they've, if someone just nailed that idea early on. It must have been the idea of having your inventory on the, in your hand and not being able to look at the screen, and but it's still being real time on the screen. So you can be in situations where you're having to look down and loot something, but you, you can hear zombies potentially, and they might be there, they might not be there. Really, if you break it down, a quite simple device for scaring people, but one that nobody else had thought of at this point. Yeah, and they they really smashed it. 
It is. I mean, there's, there's te- uh, the whole uh, the whole process of playing it is tense anyway. Mm. But with regards to scares, there's a couple of good bits. But then there's uh, there's just there's smart moments. There's a bit where you happen upon a gun turret, and I'm like, okay, here's an area with a gun turret. That's going to get used in two minutes. Mm. They send you on this little thing in the area to the extent where I completely forgot that that gun turret was there or that I knew that I was going to use it or all manner of stuff. And then so it happened. I was like, oh, fuck, I've got to get on the gun turret. Yeah. In reality, that was going to happen the whole fucking time. They just yeah. were clever and smart and sort of savvy enough to make me forget even that that was an option. But, um, yeah, it is like... It doesn't feel like a launch game at all. It's like no, it they, they, they must have really, really looked at what the hardware could do and... Uh, it's it's phenomenally good. It really is. It's uh, it should be a killer app. I'm surprised. I know people are excited about it, and a lot of people are talking about it. But if you think that it doesn't look next geny enough, or it's not quite the the jump that you that you hope for, it's and and it couldn't exist on any other machine. That's the beauty of it. That is the beauty of it. Absolutely it definitely couldn't. couldn't. It does feel genuinely new. Yeah. Which is, considering it's a zombie game, is quite, it really, quite something. Yeah, really. And there's there's tiny details as well. You don't have to turn around to shut doors behind you. Yes. I was like, that's brilliant. Mm. You always have to, uh, I've got to do it through the turn, <laughs> shut the door, and you can just fucking hammer it away from the zombies, pop pack, pop pack, pop pack, and then sort of bar the door. So it's like, pfft. it's smart as fuck and incredibly enjoyable. And yeah, it's, yeah. The, yeah, the I mean, way. I'm actually, I'm, I think I'm, I'm past to Buckingham Palace now, so a, a decent way into the game. And I keep waiting for it to fall apart, and there was one point where I was like, okay, I'm not finding it as scary now. I read, I actually read um, an article on Kotaka of a guy that had done the survivor mode where you only get one life, yeah. and he gave some tips, and it kind of broke down the systems a little bit, and I, I, so I started to, to, you know, peek through the curtain as I was playing, and I was like, damn, I shouldn't have read that. Half an hour later, I was in hell again. I was in absolute hell, so it didn't matter. It still got me. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't read anything like that. And there's also there's things in my inventory which I'm saving for mm. when shit gets really panicked. And I, like, I haven't even used a flare yet, so I, I I don't even know whether that distracts them or whether it. I, I still don't know. Hand, yeah, it does. Yeah. Hand grenades, and it's cool. You know, I smashed the shit out of you outside my uh, safe house the other day, and then oh, yeah, your likewise. Loot. likewise. Uh, that's a cool. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Um, that's from Dark Souls, isn't it? Uh, yeah, although in Dark Souls, it's. It's like a deliberate. You you, cho- you choose to actually um, invade someone's game, whereas this, I think, is just uh, it's passive. If your guy dies, you start as a new character, but I think that they can then lurk in other people's worlds as well that, that you have on your friends list. Although I've had people in my game that aren't on my friends list, which is weird. I guess they're friends of friends. Oh, actually, I've had that as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just it's it's smart as hell. There's although it's not the most visually sumptuous game in the world, the way they use it, the way the lens of the camera is sort of dirty and you're yeah. looking through this dirty lens and it's the way they handled it when you walk out for the first time into that rainstorm, yeah, and that was... rather than ha- hold your hand up or something, they just kind of blur the edges so your visibility is diminished. I'm like, yeah. that's fucking... The, the, Ubisoft, this is Ubisoft's year. With this, yeah. Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, even though I haven't played mm. it yet, I know, I know. Yes, you do, it's, and you're it's, right. It's they're yeah. so they're, they're just so on point, and they're so they're taking risks and they're doing. The it little... was at that point where you walk out into the rainstorm, and it was like the best rainstorm ever in yeah. a game. And I was like, "How is this getting low scores? Like maybe it gets shit, but what you know? How can this be getting below five anywhere?" But even the combat, even the combat of having to time and make sure that you don't lunge in without mm. a fully sort of. It's a very, uh, it's a very complicated. Actually, it's not complicated at all. But there's a certain amount of time that it takes for you to pull your base when you're when you're doing melee combat to pull your uh, cricket bat bat and then whack it yeah. forward. So you have to learn when they're going to strike and when you have to strike before they get to you mm. and all that stuff. And being overrun, it's not like you run in and oh shit, you're overrun by a hundred zombies. You can be so confident that you're going to live. Another one more zombie can turn up and you're dead. Yeah. If you're not smart about how you deal with it, man, it's a fucking cracking game. Yeah, yeah, awesome game. That and Mario are my two launch games that I have for the machine, and I just feel I'm over the moon with this machine so far. Yeah. I, I'm so impressed, seriously. If, you, if you're on the fence and you're in a situation where you can get a Wii U, highly recommend it, highly, yeah. highly recommend it. Yeah, really.
Do you want to go first? No, go ahead. All right. Um, I like the look of it pretty much straight away when they first started showing it properly. Um, the first, when they very first started showing the trailer, I think, the, uh, the like, um, it's got some really low review scores in some places, and I find that baffling. Sometimes you can play a game and some people don't like it, some people love it, and you can see why. You know, you can see why I might like it, but you totally understand why others don't. But this is... Uh, so number ones are the same game as well, right? Yes, Zombie uh, U. Zombie U. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just I can't understand how anybody could not be completely enraptured by something this tense. Yeah, same here. People said it looks bad. I think it looks fucking awesome. It does look good. Yeah, I think it looks great. I mean, yeah, there might not be the same amount of like detail of the teaser trailer. I just thought this was going to be more launch, launch kind of throwaway trash, just getting out there. And then as I started seeing the gameplay and things like that, I was like, oh no, this looks really interesting. And it and it is playing it. 